All right, Senator Mitch McConnell and Chuck Schumer debating on the Senate floor as the Senate Majority Leader unveils his plans for phase three of the coronavirus relief. So what can we expect in this agreement? What has to be in? What's still up for debate? Here to discuss it, the chairman of the Senate Republican Conference, Senator John Barrasso. Senator, thanks for joining us. Senator Mitch McConnell uh, came up with a plan, and then the Democrats came up with a plan. Now it's time to get together. He doesn't want to stick with four leadership. He wants two dozen. And some on the left are saying, we're not going to get anything done with a group that size. How do you feel? Well, this is a rescue operation for our country. We need immediate relief for people all across America. To me, that's direct support, as well as dealing with the medical component of this. I think we need all hands on deck. The more senators involved in discussing it, the better. We have a number of task forces who are working on it. We're working straight through the weekend. We need to go big. We need to be bold on this. And it needs to be bipartisan, Brian. We have two crises right now. We have the health care crisis and the economic crisis. And until we get this medical crisis behind us, we're not going to be able to do what we need to do to recover our economy. So you're getting some pushback already, uh, up to $1,200 per individual, $2,400 per couple. Uh, that would be for a couple that makes, I believe, under $175,000 in the $75,000 threshold. And um, a $500 payment per child. Is all these things still, still being battered about? That's all part of the discussion. We know we have people all across the country in every community, from the places in Wyoming all the way to New York City and California, who, through no fault of their own, are out of work. Businesses have had to shut down. So we have to focus on the people, the families, as well as the businesses, because we want those businesses to continue to be viable so the folks, when this pandemic passes, can have those jobs, right. that the jobs will be there. But they need immediate relief and direct support now. Now, I hear you, uh, but how to do it and who gets it? The airlines, they need $50 billion. Uh, to survive. There's pushback from the Democrats saying we're not going to give it to these big corporations. We got to give it to the people. Casinos, they need money. Restaurateurs, small business need money. And here's a statement from the Schumer Pelosi uh, leadership group. We're beginning to review Senator McConnell's proposal. And on first reading, it is not at all pro worker and instead puts corporations way ahead of workers. Your response? Well, I want everybody to review it. In the standpoint of the corporations, the goal there is loans only, not direct support. But for small businesses and the folks who work for them, it would be direct support so they can continue to make their payroll, so they continue to keep the doors basically ready to be reopened by paying the rent and the the electric bills, those sorts of things. So we need to make sure that all of America is ready to be brought back to life economically once the disease is defeated. Uh, just how you do that and how you're going to get done, and if time is the essence, it seems like both are on the other side. When do you think we can expect a bill? Well, the goal is to have something ready by Monday. We're going to work all day today, tomorrow, Sunday. I've already met with a couple of senators earlier this morning. This is going to be an all-hands-on-deck effort to try to get this done and get it to the House of Representatives. Monday is the goal. The American people expect us to act and do it in a bipartisan way. You know, Brian, things are usually pretty slow up here. We passed that first, the medical relief bill. That got signed earlier this week, a $100 billion bill to help additionally. And now this is the third part of what will likely be more to come as we go to recover the economy after the medical component is behind us. And lastly, real quick, uh, Senator Feinstein, Senator Loeffler, and Senator Burr have been accused of dumping a whole bunch of stock uh, right before the stock market uh, uh, bailed out. What's your reaction to that? I've seen the report. Um, I don't know the details. I know we'll hear more, but look, we all know the rules, and we all know the laws, and we are expected to live by them. That's what our constituents expect. That's what we expect of one another, and I expect to hear from each of them later today. And just please don't let these corporations buy their own stock with the money that we give them, even if they are loans. Senator Barrasso, they got to play this, this game straight. Absolutely. Senator Absolutely right. This is, we're right. all in, we need to all be in this together. It is a rescue operation right. for America, which means medical treatment, immediate relief, and then recovery as soon as we can get the medical problem solved. Absolutely. And you're a doctor as well as a senator. Thank you so much, Senator. Thank you, Brian.